point out that it says giblets may be missing. May be missing? Like, maybe they have wandered away? Maybe you need to look for them. What? Okay, fine. So I assume since it's so small that they just might not be there. But still, this does not make me happy. See? I did use liquor. Look how on fire that is. That would be the brandy. So here's what happened. Uh, so I had five things. I had a Cornish game hen. I had bacon. I had beets, mushrooms, and adobo. Uh, the chipotle peppers and adobo. So uh, I made... Oh, no. Uh, that's a Riker. Hey, buddy. Get on the floor. Get the... Oh, he'll figure it out. Anyway, that was a fried beet. Uh, so that is Cornish game hen, where I basically tried to do 40 cloves of garlic. Uh, but then I went ahead and wrapped the chicken in bacon, um, garnished with parsley. Then I went ahead and made Navajo fry bread because I've been wanting to do that for a family cookbook um, and did a steamed beets and then sauteed the beets with mushrooms and adobo sauce on top of the Indian fry bread. Then over here, pardon me, Navajo fry bread. Uh, that's what we called it when I was a kid. Uh, then since I had the deep fryer out for the fry bread, I went ahead and deep fried some mushrooms and beets uh, and the wings on the chicken as well as the giblets, which are on Will's plate because that's what Will likes. Uh, so anyway, yeah, that was my insanity. And I promised the fry bread made sense because they described the garlic cloves as being creamy. And I was like, well, geez, we're going to need like bread. So I should make bread. And I, I made tacos. Oops. That is Riker approved. Riker approved beets. Nom, 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 nom. Don't worry. Those beets only really had beets and some flour on them. But Riker approves of the beats. Will, how was the food? So I was really impressed. Uh, everything was really flavorful. Uh, 40 cloves of garlic would generally do that. But uh, there was a lot more to it. Uh, everything had a pretty good level of salt. Uh, the fried things... Like the beets were really impressive and tasted really good. Uh, you did you made a lot of different foods with a lot of technical skill, and uh, I think it, everything worked out and it was really impressive. Um, the uh, uh, Cornish game hen was lots of small pieces, which meant that there were lots of bones in small pieces, which was awkward, but that is the Cornish game hen. That is absolutely not you. But you got to have entrapped a little tiny foods. It was tiny foods, and they were adorable. And there was little tiny fried chicken wings. Yes, they, they were the tiniest, most tastiest chicken wings. <laughs> um, the breading was really good on everything. That's something I've never managed to pull off. So that is... I did the recipe, and then I added more flour. I've tried to follow the recipes and not really failed that. So uh, Fair. still very impressive. Um, yeah, so I think all in all, everything was really good. Uh, Excellent. Is there something that you were uh, most pleased with working? or uh, most the, the beer batter that I definitely winged, which is why I did not put the, everything like banking on that. I was just like, well, if I'm going to make fry bread. I'm going to have the oil ready. I should fry things. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I found a recipe online, but it was really watery and didn't work. Also, I used a LaCroix instead of beer. It has the carbonation. So, and I added baking powder mm -hmm. so it would be fluffier. And that all seemed to work pretty well. Brilliant. So it seems like between last week with the spring rolls and also non-stuffed topping things, uh, as well as the fried chicken and stuff and the non-fried chicken and stuff, it seems like you kind of... Your, your strategy is just to cover the bases by doing two methods, just in case one doesn't work. Yeah. So you're doing twice the work. Yeah. That's why I'm tired at the end of these, and you get to clean the kitchen. You're a little bit crazy. You married me. You've known me for a long time. You're the best. Yay. Good. Well, everybody, thanks for watching, and uh, here's the puppy. <gasps> the puppy. Hey, Edgar, come here. Nah. I pass. <laughs> scritch it. He's like, why don't you scritch me where I am? I do love you, but why don't you just scritch me where I am? Yeah, that's good. Good human. Good job. All right, thanks for watching. Bye.